Look at them. They're like some animatronic ride at Disneyland that you find out later on is actually pretty racist and then gets closed down around like 2015. Yo, what's up, beautiful people? Riot's here playing Ark Survival Evolve, and today we're just checking out some of the most adorable shiz we've had added in a while. Not really even a part of my survival series or anything, just more hanging out with my giant Smilodon over here because it looks like it could straight up tear out the jugular on a T-Rex, and I find that to be amazing. So here we have this adorable male otter. Look at this adorable little thing. I know so many people too were pissed as shiz at wildcard as well. They're like, come on wildcard, really? This is what you're giving us? A freaking otter? What the hell? But I don't know. I'm just, I'm not like that. I freaking love when small adorable things are added into games. It's just we don't have enough companionship. And I understand you have just about every sort of companion in this game you can think of though, but... <laughs> I don't know, like my favorite update, or not my favorite at all, but one of my favorite updates for Subnautica was just the cute fish when they finally implemented that for people who bought it when it was in pre-release or whatever. It, I know it's like a simple, stupid little thing, but I just, I love having pets that I could feel like would be my pet in real life as well. I feel like a raptor would never be tamed in real life. It's just insane to think you could get that kind of companionship by knocking a creature over the head and feeding it, but an otter you actually could. All right, squeaky poops. I don't know why he's in the water now. I understand he's an otter and it rhymes with water henceforth why he's got to be in there nonstop. But I do, I did prepare a fish. These damn insects ate my fish. This is actually a good time to announce what's going on with my survival series as well because a few people were like, right, what the hell is there no more going on with that survival series? The issue there being is... Well, look at this big juicy bastard. The issue there being is this is not just an ARC channel. It's the, it's, it makes it difficult when I cover just about every freaking game possible. Any game I could really get my jollies over out of. Anything with monsters, dinosaurs, animals, anything really. So it's hard to just constantly have a survival series coming out every day or every other day. So I've decided since I've been practicing some player unknown, but I've just been practicing all sorts of Twitch games, making sure I know what the hell I'm doing. All right, I'm just pause my conversation really quick to feed this otter. What's going on, buddy? What's going on, handsome? I failed at this for like five minutes straight because I can't get it to just be directly on him without that. God damn it, you have like a millisecond opening. It's like trying to blow up the Death Star around here. You really do have the smallest opening up without the force. It's virtually impossible. Come on, buddy. There we go. Oh my God. <laughs> I was trying to do that for like five minutes before starting this video. I did not have him tamed for the video so I could show him how to tame you guys. It was a pure failure on my part. Look at this adorable little- th oh my god, what kind of monster would not want this added to Ark? Look at this adorable little thing. Obviously, ending up as this creature, it's almost more unfortunate than ending up as the Kairuku, or as unfortunate, because you're- You could not be more below on the food chain. Don't even try it, homie. Holy shiz, look at this adorable little fart. This is the cutest thing ever. I don't even care if it's like generally useless as far as defending your base from dinosaurs, that kind of thing. If, you, if you're not able to do it yet in Ark with all the items and dinosaurs, I don't know what you do with your life. Oh, look at, did you see his little paws when he was climbing up onto my head as well? Yep, this is, this is the shiz right here. I'm a big fan of this. <laughs> Plus, it's cool. We have a little companion that could actually follow us through anything now. Not something that gets screwed over when it's in water. This little... This little hydro actually no, he's not the fastest, and he'd still get eaten, because anything that's trying to kill you is going to get towed about 15 feet behind. You want him on your shoulder, he's still an otter, I mean, come on, he's, he's aquatic, but at the same time, he's basically food, he's the lowest on the food chain, he's below the insects. I guess fish, fish are the bottom of the food chain, but fish are just nature's heroin addicts, they just like float around emotionless, just, just dead inside, waiting to be eaten by something, they literally are nature's heroin addicts. Oh, what I was gonna say though, I totally forgot. Look like how little that guy is compared to this cat. You see, he wouldn't even be eaten by this freaking cat. Jesus! Because, um, you I don't even think you'd be noticed. I legit think you'd be mistaken as a rock. Look at that, you're not even the size of his tooth. It would be disgusting, but it would be a quick chop. I guess it'd be a really quick death. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna be uploading starting in the next couple days. This gotta help my girlfriend completely move out and everything, that whole thing. And, um, and then I'm pretty much 100% free, hence why I've been really starting my Twitch move over. But I think I'm just gonna start uploading two to three survival series videos a day to my Twitch channel. That way it doesn't, obviously I'll still be uploading a bunch of art to this channel too, don't worry about that. But obviously I lag a shit ton when it comes to uploading survival series videos. And I think this is a real way to make it so it doesn't interrupt the upload flow of anything else. I think I stumbled onto something really beautiful here. Alright, so before taming another otter, because I really want to see if they can breed, we have to kill all these epic dinosaurs we're finding all around this location right now. 
Look at these terrifying looking things. Luckily, we are a giant beast creature, so it's no issue. Stop it. Just Jesus Christ, what are we what are we biting at right now? Come on, buddy. Come on. I have like ridiculous amount of faith in this creature I'm on right now just because I can't imagine if this thing was real how much damage it would do to carnivores. I mean, it's already the size, the, the, the muscle this thing must have. And the reflexes, Jesus. Oh my God, that's perfect. Now he's bright green and named Hulk. That is the best thing ever. See, this is why this cat's amazing. He's the best thing I have close to a Hulk right now. Okay, we're just gonna find another spot position down where there are many fish available and I wanna see a baby otter. Cause I feel like if an otter's this cute, a baby otter's gotta be way more adorable. And then, yeah, I'm actually, if today, today I'm gonna make sure the server's completely updated and refreshed everything because I'm having a few insane things added to the uh, Jurassic Park expansion mod, which you guys should just have downloaded by now because I've, I'm just spending hundreds now putting amazing creatures in there. But for those of you who don't know, we're working on, or not me, Godzilla's working on it. I have little, literally no hand in it whatsoever. That's, the props 100% go to Godzilla, but they're working on a... I've definitely gone too far, but yeah, they're, um, they're working on a Juggernaut, or Godzilla's working on a Juggernaut 32, you know, the giant purple, like, Triceratops insane beast out monster hybrid creature, it's just gonna be great. After that, we're thinking Omega, like the, you know, the T-Rex, I don't know, comment down below which ones you guys think, it's just, it's getting to the point now where it's time to start, I feel like we've done enough Jurassic Park dinos, it's time to start throwing in some of those hybrid bosses, you know? So yeah, now that those are going into the survival series as well, it's just, and now I definitely need to be playing it. <laughs> I don't want to be dropping hundreds on these creatures then someone else be the only one to tame them. That just doesn't make much sense to me. Holy crap, look, it's my smaller relative over here. Are you people serious right now? You fish or don't even let that leash bite onto you, buddy. If you get the disease, you ain't going home. Look how little this thing is next to us. That's why a giant version is always so important. Look at this little cat. Oh my god, it's hilarious. Oh, why did we kill it? There was no reason. Oh, what are we doing right now? Look, there's new dinosaurs that aren't even in the game yet. They're just in the Jurassic Park mod that I'm killing right now. Or not dinosaurs, just extinct creatures. But, I don't know, it just seems easier when you call them all dinosaurs. But it's, it's so incorrect that it makes a lot of people angry. Like how little this guy is. Jesus Christ, what is going on? You must be some sort of infant. Because this is absolutely ridiculous. That size difference. Where it's just like eating a little man now. And those things are supposed to be huge. Dude, Hulk is just on guard right now, and I love it. I wish I could teach Hulk to fish. I wish there was, like, a specific amount of things you could teach each creature to do. Like, you could teach every creature to fish, every creature to hunt out certain creatures. That'd be a really cool mod as well. Because, I mean, it's not like most of these creatures wouldn't be amazing, like, fish fishermen, you know? Other than the otter, I'm saying. But, like, put a Smilodon or a raptor on a riverbank and have them wait there for a fish. Are you serious? If we have, like, islanders who could spear fish easily like like straight up magicians there's no way a raptor's reflexes wouldn't be able to grab one really quick come here buddy i wish it was this easy to like tame an otter in real life i feel like you have to find and nurse a baby to health and they have to you have to imprint on it as to think that you're its mother and everything holy crap i thought i, <laughs> I thought i lost my otter for a second you should make a noise up there or something bark once in a while man I'm forgetting you're up there that's exactly how I've lost most pets in my survival series right there. I forget there's something on my shoulders. What's going on, Spanky? See, it's the most difficult part, is the damn fish is always in the way. It is just, it is just life. Come on. Come on. Damn it! Oh, I've got you now, you little SOB. Hang on. Stupid fish! No, not into the water! No, 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 no. I guess we can still do it in the water. Actually, it's, it appears to be way easier in the water. Hoo-hoo! Look at that! It is way easier in the water. I hear piranha. Get out of the water, little buddy. Get out of the water. No! Oh, I thought I almost killed my otter. I still think I did. He's pretty bloody. Get out of there. Come over by the Hulk. Everything, everything's safe by the Hulk. Like, nothing's safe by the Hulk. Scarlett Johansson is safe by the Hulk. Everyone else is screwed. There's a leech on your foot. Hold still. Bruh. Okay, I've actually never tried to breed these things. These things are brand spanking. They were just added like 45 minutes ago. So obviously, okay, they have hearts above their heads. They have female and male genitalia. This should work. I should put them in a little cage, but it's just sex slaveries for the dogs right now, man. If they want to move away, they can move. Look at their cute little faces. <laughs> Hang on, on their, on their emblem. Show me the emblem. Oh, they're too far. 
Look at that adorable little face on that emblem. The real way to do this would be to, um, to link them together to where their tails make a heart. I think that would be the most romantic shiz ever. I might have to build a little cage though, because these guys have the smallest mating radius I've ever seen. Like, they literally have to be right next to each other in order to do the do. I'm so excited to see this little baby. Yo, he's such a cute little, like when they were both looking up at me right there, that was adorable. Even though they were technically doing the do. All right, I can take you guys off of this right now because it's actually getting kind of annoying. Hulk can only keep the neighborhood secure for so long, you know what I'm saying? But eventually there's going to be hostile entities moving up on my bottom of the food chain, little, little fur measles. I meant to say weasels and I said measles. There's a huge difference between the two, I'm not realizing. Measles and weasels are quite opposite. You know what? These adorable little fart poops just totally convinced me to play some Far Cry Primal after this. I think that's 1000% gonna be the second video I upload today, Far Cry Primal, because these little- this is just too cute, man. That's like the game where you get to tame the absolute most baller creatures in the most realistic way, I feel like. I mean... I don't know, I feel like it's about as realistic as arc taming, but the graphics and everything are so beautiful. The way I get to have them hunt down NPCs is just so special. But yeah, something with like thousands of years of instinctive hunting embedded in its DNA will not all of a sudden like you because you feed it food. But I'm, I love the little world we're doing. Oh my god, that's the most adorable little thing. Look at this little poop once you level him up. Oh, get rid of it. it just bounces up and down. I love it. I just everything about this character is cute. If I wish I do wish there was a way to have them just kind of rapid attack another player's face or something like that. Something I guess it wouldn't be the best climber though. If we could have some sort of pet squirrel or something. Maybe a jerbo no, a jerbo is just better at jumping. These guys are better at swimming. But if there was something a squirrel, something that's good at climbing, that you could just maybe a sugar glider and you could just like fling your sugar glider at him and just rips at the dude's face and it's just temporary blindness with minor damage infliction opening up the perfect opportunity to kill your enemy and then your sugar glider just yo-yos back to you there's, there's jesus christ that would be amazing these little buggers actually just ate quite quickly like i have everything turned not even up on the server whatsoever it actually takes forever to things to breed on this server it's actually heartbreaking and soul crushing but these things actually just stayed super fast this little baby's almost out of there i'm so proud i feel like i'm about to be a grandparent or like i guess just um a s slave owner because technically they're not free to go but it's it's you delude yourself into feeling like you're part of this beautiful experience and that you didn't just take these creatures I didn't take you out of your habitat, you're right where I found you. This one took a shit while this one's about to take a baby. If that's not relationship goals, I don't know what is. Dude, but this is the hardest part for me, all these videos, like the freaking 10 second countdown. I can't do countdowns, it's too intense. Here it comes! Zeom, look at that little bugger crawling on out of there. Where are you going, fart? Holy oh. crap. <laughs> look at this thing, are you serious? Holy shoots, look at that poop, what did I even say shoot? It's like there was an infant there, I shouldn't cuss around him, it's literally what happened, I just instinctively, which is stupid because it's not like this baby's even gonna pick up any swear words from me. You can pretty much cuss around infants all you want until they're almost like a year old or two years old. I don't know, I don't have a kid, but <laughs> don't listen to me. Look at that little popcorn kernel, popcorn chicken from KFC looking SOB right there. That is the cutest. Where are you going? I gotta get some fish. This thing's gonna die. Fish. Got to get the fish. Look at this. Just fish chilling ready. You gotta love fish, man. They are like the most giving creature. Like I said, nature's heroin egg. Just sitting there. Just straight up strung out. Chilling in a bush. Waiting for somebody to come and eat them. Okay, if you could pick up an otter. I feel like you should be able to pick up a baby otter. Perhaps we put it in our pocket? You know? <laughs> We keep it like this and we just walk around like this the whole time so you're ready to put it down somewhere I feel like that'd be really cool also if we were able to pick up babies But like babies took up both your hand places that would be the coolest thing ever I also feel like we should be able to drag adult dinos Like even if they're past our weight capacity, we should we somehow tow them to another dino. Look at this <laughs> It's weird you guys only have one child though, is it? I'm trying to get the perfect family photo right now if you haven't noticed This is what it's all about baby. This is how you get on Nat Geo Yo, they look demonic. Look at this. Look at all their heads turn and follow me. What the fudge is going on? Except for the baby. The babies. Look at this. Actually scary the way they all do that. So I understand every creature in game does that. This isn't a big deal. But it just looks creepy as hell when it's done by these little fellas. Look at them. 
They're like some animatronic ride at Disneyland that you find out later on is actually pretty racist and then gets closed down around like 2015. Oh my god, what is it doing now? That was the cutest shiz ever. I feel like I've seen the big ones do that, but it was not as cool. What do you guys still think I'm up there? Look at this little monster right here. <laughs> I'm so excited for a play as dino update where we get to play as these little fellas. That is going to be the coolest thing ever. See, this is why you need a little pond in your base, for sure. For the creatures to dilly-dally. dilly, -dally. dilly oh God, it dilly daddle dilly dilly daddle It's because it's not a damn word. I'm forgetting the actual way to say it. Freaking gibberish betraying me mid-sentence. See, not just the cute little fella, though. The otter, look, there's another one right there, too. They're all over this freaking neighborhood. What's going on, buddy? Aren't they? They're usually in, like, giant otter packs, though, I believe. And yes. And they keep you warm as well because they're a warm little plick. Look at this floating poop right there. I'm impressed with this floating turd. I mean, I know most poop floats, but I, I feel like it's just a rarity to see poop floating around these days. But yes, they keep you warm and they can fetch fish for you as well, which just makes them a fisherman's best friend. In a perfect world where people weren't just constantly murdering each other, just slaughtering each other in PvP wars, I think it'd be cool to be just a little quaint fisherman dude. Just chilling on a little riverbed with nothing more than your otters to keep you company. All right, so here is the otter. Here is the baby otter. It's uses, how to tame it, and a little update on what's been going on with my survival series because I swore that last one would go away, and it's not gonna. I'm still literally, I'm personally having dinosaurs added to it, let alone everyone else, so obviously I'm not done with it. I just can't. It's just difficult to post it every other day, so I'm gonna start posting it on my Twitch. Twitch link is in the comment section below or description. I don't know where I put it, but it's somewhere, but it's always in the description. That's guaranteed. So yeah, leave a like, subscribe, and I shall see you ladies next time. Peace! Yeah.